The Borderlands reviews are out today, well, at least for some of the video game sites, and it's sitting in 85 right now on Metacritic, which is pretty good. It's only been scored for PC so far, there isn't a score for the PlayStation or Xbox yet. But if you actually take a look at the reviews, there's a lot of mixed reception. If we start with Kotaku, they haven't even given the score for the game, because apparently they didn't get copy for Borderlands 3. Apparently because of all the leaks from YouTube and other things like that, a lot of prominent sites didn't get to review the game yet. But there are some puzzling reviews. A lot of them are calling the humor in the game offensive and so some review called it 1980s humor. Uh, one review from PCGamer.com said that the humor is like a bad meme or something I don't know there's a lot of negative attention surrounding the characters and the jokes in the game but if you look at other games of the same type I mean the writing in video games has never been anything special you know mostly teenagers are gonna be playing this game people don't really pay attention to that it's all about the gameplay and most of the reviews have been pretty good and and pretty fair about the gunplay uh, some reviews have said that there's a lack of innovation but they didn't need to reinvent the wheel. I think Destructoid said they didn't need to reinvent the wheel. So I'm not sure what they're offended by with the humor. Are you offended because you're soft and you can't take a joke? Or is it just like really cringy jokes? I think that's what the series has always been. You know, it's, it's a lighthearted adventure. But let's look at the worst reviews from this game. Polygon. And it's interesting that Polygon, on Metacritic, they haven't even given it a score yet. Although, if you read their, their print review, it's pretty obvious that they're against the game. Polygon has one of the worst reviews of it. And some websites call it a chore. Alright, so Polygon is the review that a lot of people are up in arms about. One of the things that they say is that a lack of creativity also hurts Borderlands 3 mission design, which has been largely reduced to the act of going someplace, killing a few people, collecting a thing, and then returning. I mean, that's probably the case, but that's always been the case, especially with any of these other shooters. You know, there's been... The Division didn't really innovate on that. They gave us the Dark Zone, but... You look at Destiny, you look at any of these games, uh, you know, it's all fetch quests. But what we really want to know is the gameplay. How good is the gameplay? How good are the guns? Another weird review is from Games Radar. They said it's both the best and the worst of the series. Strange, but they say that the sheer magnitude and diversity of its arsenal of fun and surprising weaponry is unmatched, and the striking amount of loving detail and variety packed into its energetic and replayable 30-hour campaign is what makes Borderlands 3 a high point for the series and the genre as a whole. Okay, that's from IGN. They gave it a 9 out of 10. Destructoid, I believe they also gave it a 9 out of 10, so there's definitely some good reviews in here. There's some you know, not so great reception, but, you know, it is to be expected. It's probably more about the politics of the game than the actual gameplay. But the game's still a few days out. As I said, there's some sites that didn't even get to review the game. You know, Kotaku was one in particular. <laughs> you go to their site, they're the, one of the ones that didn't even get to review the game. It's interesting. Only a select number of websites. Wow. In the case of Borderlands 3, rather than sending out codes for the game, 2K gave reviewers special Epic Game Store accounts loaded with early work-in-progress builds of Borderlands 3, a bizarre scenario that we've never seen before. So I don't know if they're trying to, I think they're just trying to avoid spoilers, but you know, it's only Monday. I'm probably going to get some more reviewers. It says that VG247 didn't get a game. A lot of these sites have to wait until the day before it comes out. You know, it is what it is. But IGN, they usually give good scores. 9 out of 10 seems good. Destructoid. Destructoid knows they know what they're talking about with these kind of games. Because what are you really expecting? It's a looter shooter. I mean, that's all it is. You know, a billion guns sounds good to me. Bigger and better than every 
yeah, that's what I'd expect. GameSpot gave it an 8 out of 10. Borderlands 3 doesn't do much differently, but it does many things better. Borderlands 3 won't convert anyone, but it will make fans happy. So, you can read some of these reviews if you want. I personally didn't go through all of them. One little snippet that I did find, though, which is really funny. I think it was from PC Gamer. Hold on. Yeah, this one's from PC Gamer. Okay. Now this one, get a load of this. Um, Borderlands 3 walks by dog poop, points at it, and laughs, and then sets it on fire. Borderlands 3 stays up until 11.30pm drinking soda and googling crass flash animations taking detailed notes. It's stuck in the late 2000s when surface level vulgarity was enough to qualify as edgy. Borderlands 3 is seriously obsessed with turds. And when the series was first conceived, it stuck in a time when memes lasted months rather than days, when referential humor was still a novelty and not exhausting, when you could point at something. The... yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what they're... They're very good with language, I guess, but... When you could point at something the slightest bit abnormal and gross and call it... I don't know. Some dumb reviews. But IGN said that it is... IGN said that it is... An amazing arsenal of weapons, humor, and missions. So, I mean, that to me is a more realistic summary, you know. That's what people are interested in. They're interested in the gameplay. No one's going to care about any of this other jargon that these writers have come up with.